I'm going to read out the winning limerick uh, in Total Films, asking on Facebook to send in a limerick based on Dwayne Johnson's portrayal of Hercules. So here we go, this is the winner, you know who you are. Dwayne Johnson's eyebrows did furrow. His looks turned from pride into sorrow. He thought the screenplay was Christy, but his eyes went all misty. Turns out he's a great god, not Poirot. Oh, cool. That's not bad, is it, actually? No. Let me concentrate. Okay, I think that maybe that's a draw. <laughs> you can stop now. <laughs> <laughs> you lost because you're a I'm starting. <laughs> I'm starting. We're only just beginning, weren't we? I only have like four minutes. <laughs> Actual wins. Yes. I lost. Damn it. Oh. You know how happy that made me? Yeah, I'm sure. I can hear you laughing in your head. <laughs> you can hear me laugh the entire yeah. night. I'm going to go like this. Oh, shut up. Thank you. You can redeem yourself. I can? Okay. We've, we've got another ah. one now. I don't even understand that thumb war thing. Okay, what, what do you just, say? Just what do you, first, what do you say? Okay. He's gonna get me as well. What do you do? What? You, what, what? One, two, three. Uh, you got, you got really slippery hands. <laughs> two, three. That's gotta be me, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What? Reese yeah, wins. Reese wins. wins. What? They don't have it in Norway. We don't have this in Norway. You have, you have thumb war. You have no, to. No, if, if people do like that, we often we go like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure if you're familiar with th thumb mm. wars in Russia. No, in Russia we're doing gun wars, but not gun wars. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure I can do that. I lose those. I am very, very floppy. Well, let's see. What's how how does how? So you have to pin John's thumb down, and you have to pin Arena's, and you okay. have a you have a pin. How, how, where do you, where is your basis of? So you just hold. Oh, just like there, that? like like this. Oh, like, like that. Just here. God, she's tough, tough little girl. Okay, wait, yeah. let's start. Wait, mm. let's Hang start on. in the middle. Like, Don't cheat. It's like this. So, it's like that. So then you do this, and you have to try and pin. Oh. Oh, hmm. oh my God. <laughs> okay, wait. First, like that. You can have yeah. me. <laughs> yeah. Do you want me? Do you want me on the bed? Okay. <laughs> blah, blah. I won! <laughs> The biggest challenge of my career uh, was, you know what, it's a good question. The biggest challenge of my career was, was finally uh, getting past the point of um, not trying to mold myself into um, something that Hollywood wanted me to be and my team around me at that time wanted me to be. So there was this ideal and an image of, well, if you're gonna be a leading man, you have to look a certain way and you can't, you have to trim down and you have to, um, you have to do a lot of things that really aren't you. So the, one of the biggest challenges of my career, if not the most defining pivotal turn in my career was when I decided to, I wasn't gonna conform to a standard that I felt just wasn't me, I had to be me. And being me then, uh, it allowed for more freedom. It allowed me to, if I wanted to train, I could train. If I wanted to get bigger for a role, I could get bigger. If I wanted to be a little smaller, I could get smaller. So, but uh, I was doing it on my terms. Cool, and it seems to have worked because the last couple of years have been crazy. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. And, you know, for the past two, three years is when we started to see an uptick in just authentic roles that just felt great to me. Um, and so that's what we're seeing today. So I'm enjoying it today. It's a good thing. And you know what? It speaks to the importance of what happens when we just embrace who we were born to be. You know, and we go through it, by the way, everyone goes through that, where you want to be a little bit more like this, or you want to be like this person a little bit more. But then you start to realize, well, the most powerful thing I can be is just me. And if people don't like it, well, there's a the door.
Like it or lump it, we say. Like it or lump it, yes. So as we say here in the UK, if you don't like who I am, like it or lump it. Or as we say where I live, if you don't like who I am, well, go fuck yourself. <laughs> um, the Tarixipi, mm -hmm. which is a ghost that frightens horses. No, I don't believe that. That's real. Come on. Yeah. Well, it doesn't actually exist, but it's okay. real. It's real, it's real in Greek, okay. Greek mythology. Okay. Uh, Ali Lornus is a giant bird woman that eats the hearts of traitorous men. I believe that. That's not real. <laughs> we made that up. <laughs> uh, a telekines mm -hmm. is a, a skilled metal worker mm -hmm. with the head of dogs and flippers of seals in place of hands. You couldn't make that up. Okay, that is definitely real. That's real. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got you now. I know which ones are real and fake. The ones that are unbelievable are the real ones. <laughs> the next one is a diagryphus, which is a flying goat with the head of an old woman. I don't believe that. That one's fake. That's what I said. That's right. You got it, you got it, you got it. So the first one is Aphrodite's Child. Mm, that sounds like a band. That's a band. <laughs> uh, the next one is The Helpful Soul. Sounds like a band. That one's a band as well. <laughs> uh, Birth of Athena. Probably, is probably a myth. Yeah, that one's a myth. <laughs> uh, King Midas and the Donkey Ears. That's a band. That's a myth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the last one is the Grojek, Grodek Whipper Jenny. That's a myth. That one's a band. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tricky one. They're good.